All right, so this is a very weird thing to follow after my last video. Um, if you haven't checked that out, please go ahead and do so. But when it rains, it pours. So let's get into it. So as you might have uh, seen from the title, uh, yeah, Viz is shutting down Patreon pages for anime reactions. Now, there is some like good news and obviously it's, a whole lot of bad news let's let's keep it real but like the bad news i guess i'll just go over that is that i'm not the only one that's affected by this this is actually going to affect a lot of creators out there so i'm doing this video just to put that news out there in case anyone got hit i'm going to go over some of the things that you should know and that you should you know not really worry about but Again, I'm sure a lot of people that may make a lot of money off of their Patreon page through some of that content, probably just going to have to look for another way to still get that content to your Patreon supporters. Basically, what is happening? Let me just go over that really quick. So basically, Viz is going around and they are striking on Patreon channels. Now, the key word is Patreon channels because YouTube, funny enough, is not affected which is great, right? That's actually part of like my good news. But the bad news um, is it's kind of like an obvious thing and it makes a lot of sense. And um, I actually had the privilege of actually speaking with a legal representative on behalf of Viz that deals with all of the legalities and the whole process with striking and all this stuff. And they're going through Patreon and Patreon's like, you know, um, system or whoever they have to deal with when it comes down to like striking content that's I guess just not legal to upload and sell and that's another keyword so basically if you are a content creator similar to me you do anime reactions or you do reactions or any sort of video content that shows the footage <laughs> at all it's not allowed fair use I guess is different when it comes to how you're putting it out there on you know public platforms or even private platforms because patreon is obviously a subscription-based platform especially if you're trying to sell it there might be a gray area there that's a question i didn't actually ask because i didn't even think to ask this at the time but i don't even think it would matter i think that even if you had a tier that was free and you know people because you can't have a, a free tier you could just have people follow your patreon account in case you didn't know they didn't have to actually pay they just wouldn't get any benefits i guess but that's obviously up to the creator themselves you can't actually put any sort of anime content with visual video at all or else it's deemed as something to take down to strike or you know you could potentially get sued over you could get your patreon page take taken down and all that and i'm sure that's something that y'all don't want to happen so specifically what happened to me so basically i had like around 11 strikes <laughs> imagine that 11 strikes on patreon in one shot and i went through these and i was like okay some of these i can understand but some of these i i actually don't get why because some of these were like images and thumbnails and something you know things of this nature as well as viz related products i don't know if you guys remember a few years back viz actually sent me a bunch of things some manga some blu-rays right and I obviously clearly made a video about it because I wanted to share it with you guys and say, hey, look, Viz likes me and they gave me this kind of stuff. That video got flagged. And I'm like, there's no there's no footage in this, though. Like, there, there, there's no footage. Either way, that was OK, because like I said, the legal representative was really nice and took the time today to actually explain to me. And this was like a phone call. Like I wasn't just it wasn't just an email. It was an email that led to a phone call and they were really polite and they explained literally everything and what's allowed, what's not allowed. And yeah, just explain that fair use when it comes down to platforms like Patreon, where yes, even though I am essentially trying to sell you right on my reactions, my reviews, the fact that I'm using content that is literally copyrighted pieces of media that I do not own. So if I had the actual rights, then that's different. I feel like that changes things, but that, that's completely you know different. Don't let's not lose track here. So yeah, all in all, you can't put any kind of content like that on Patreon anymore. This will obviously directly impact a lot of folks. For me, not so much. 
much because my Patreon, let's be honest, it's it's not the biggest Patreon page. It has content on it, but you know, as far as like support goes, there's really not too much on there. Um, so like I'm not, I don't feel like I am as affected. I obviously would have to reconfigure or figure out like something else as a substitution i'm not really sure how that's going to work out especially since it's not like i can even release early access types of videos especially when the majority of my content is reaction based but when they went on to explain that youtube is completely fine because youtube deals with ad revenue and even though as a creator we get some sort of cut off of the ad revenue that's a different realm entirely it's not a direct sale i guess the way youtube is structured versus patreon they are two completely different things even though on youtube you can't have memberships and you can have super chats and people can directly support through youtube directly in that way it is a little different and i can see that and i can understand that and plus youtube does have its own like striking system or demonetization or whatever where companies have the opportunity to straight up you know make an attempt to strike you down but you have different sets of rights i i from my understanding because i mean just by, by doing youtube for all these years i've gone through all the trials and tribulations i've had stuff demonetized taken down i've had stuff flagged thankfully i haven't had i've had no copyright strikes there's one time i actually did but i got it removed because it was like they thought that I was like re-uploading the Broly movie, but I was like, yeah, no, I was just talking about it and it's it's, it's just my voice. I, I promise, don't shoot, right? So basically that's what happened. Those are the differences between Patreon and YouTube. As, as a YouTuber or as a content creator in general, if you're uploading your reactions to YouTube, you're obviously editing them, you're obviously manipulating them, you're putting filters, you're putting, you know, all the good practices and how to make sure that, you know, it's within fair use and obviously so that way you, it doesn't get flagged or demonetized so that you could be a successful creator in this type of space. So YouTube is fine. Now, other than that, the one other thing that I actually learned from all this, and this is go this is going back to the straight up Patreon side of things, is manga is completely legal. It's ple it's completely allowed, which is a weird plus, right? So if I technically wanted to do more manga reactions and just have the entire shit on there, as of right now, as of this recording, from what this person told me straight up, I have an email to prove it, then yes, I can do, you, we all, right? We all can do manga reactions. And I know it's not as exciting, it's not as thrilling, but I mean, as far as, you know, pumping out content and giving you guys something to watch and to look forward to and to consume and enjoy, and to obviously help support us so that we can continue to do this for like a living or, you know, I'm trying to get to that point, then that is another option. So I know anime is a lot more exciting because you get to see it in action, you get to hear it, you get to feel the emotion that way. Obviously, the anime comes from manga, so that's just you know another alternative. And as far as any other alternatives, um, I guess that's, I'm gonna leave that up to you guys because what would you wanna see in place of this? Because if we can't really put an uncut version or an unedited version of any sort of anime reactions outside of doing manga reactions what would be the next best thing so that's completely up to you guys i have no idea i am sorry for any of those creators that are doing really well on patreon that this is definitely going to directly affect i did hear about uh, a creator that i don't really know her name i think it's like suzy or something like that but i've never heard of her before this individual apparently they tried from what i was told they tried to get their lawyers involved and they lost so just want to put that out there so that y'all know <laughs> don't don't get shot <laughs> But uh, I hope this was informative. Uh, I know this is kind of like out of the norm for what I do here on this channel, but I think this was kind of important since, you know, Viz and I are in good standing. Uh, we do follow each other on Twitter. They have sent me things in the past. So it was kind of weird when I got like struck on Patreon for stuff like this, especially for some of the things that were not really strikable, but that was also clear up. I don't know if I said that earlier. So I'm, I'm like all over the place. I'm sorry about that. Those posts that had no footage or nothing to do with that, those 
simply and easily on the spot got reversed. And I also have email proof of that as well. If my account was suspended, it's it shouldn't be now. This person was was really nice and they helped me out under, and understand like exactly how this all works. So there it is. Just to let you guys know, I guess this doesn't really affect the Naruto reactions because obviously I just did episode one and that's been good. So thank you guys for supporting that. Um, and I'm going to continue doing these uh, rewatch reactions, the re what I, I, stop so thank you again um hope you uh got something out of this video and just be careful out there and uh you know make sure you are you know having that good practice as far as like you know doing any kind of this you know reaction content take care of yourselves may the power protect keep it locked right here on this channel stay safe stay clean and stay the hell inside and i'll see y'all